Hi everybody, it's Second Chance Saturday. What we'll be doing is we'll be working with a 12 by three cake pan. Now what I've done with this, I've put in two holes in the top. I think this is like $1.99 at the thrift store. Then I've added four pieces of wood. I took a nail and hammered it through the side so I could get a screw in there. I'm not too worried about this because I can, and I haven't decided on which ribbon I'm gonna use yet, I can hot glue the ribbon so it will totally cover the screws. Okay, now my plan is I have a piece of wood that I cut and I am going to glue that in place now I needed something in there to brace it. So that's why I put the four little pieces of wood and screwed them in there tight. And I didn't screw it in on the ends, I screwed it in on the sides. If you screw in on the end grain, it will split. So when I poked a hole through here with the, with the hammer and nail, then I pre-drilled a small hole into the wood, okay, to grab it from the side. Now I can either hot glue this or I can take my um, staple gun. Let's see what I'm trying to accomplish. We're going to put a, um, an arrangement in here. Okay. So, and also, this was another idea I had. I have some rope down here. Of course, can't find the end of it. So I'm just going to cut it. But I thought this would be cute to even add this. If I ha if I go ahead and staple, because I think I'm going to have to, I can staple it into the rope and you're not going to see it. Okay. So right now I'm just temporarily going to hot glue this to the wood. We've got a part that's not quite dry yet on the side. How about that? Who knew? Okay, so then if I have to go back later on and tack it with staples, I won't have any problem. And if the staples show, then I just cover it up with the rope. I don't know if you've seen these hangers in Wayfair, um, Hobby Lobby, they're all made out of metal and they're quite expensive. They even have those ones that look like a metal tire, but I thought this would be more, this would be unique. And I have to adjust this to match what I did up top with the holes. There we go. Now it's where I want it to go. See? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put a piece of styrofoam down in here because I need the styrofoam to build my arrangement. Now, a lot of these, what they have now is they have succulents and then they have the succulents trailing down over the side. I kind of want to do mine up. Okay, so mine's going to be a little different. So I'm just going to put a little glue on here. So it will adhere to those blocks of wood inside. You can do this any way you want. You could make this farmhouse. You could do anything. I want to kind of make it rustic. That's why I have these deer horns here. I think I got those from Sims. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of this moss. I hate moss. It's not the feel of it, it's just the mess it makes. <laughs> so I'm going to hot glue the top of this and throw some of this moss on top. Just to kind of disguise. You see it all right? All right, 
So my idea is I want to put these horns in there, but I also want to put some of this foliage in there to kind of, I want to make these the center point. I even have some real pretty leaves here. And again, you can take this and you can change it out for the season, whatever. Okay. So basically I'm going to start adding my greenery. didn't have enough of a stem to add it in. I have I think I'm going to add one more. Or five. I like to decorate when I'm doing my arrangements, I like things to be in odd numbers. There we go. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. And then I want a little pop of color, and I want some brown in here. These were from Sims. These were from Sims. The deer antlers were from Sims. The other ones, I'm not sure. I order from so many places. I just want some different textures in here. So see what you can do from a cake pan? Cake pans are so easy to repurpose. Now, what would really be cute is this is the 12 by 3. I have a friend who told me she has a couple for me. One's a 10 by 3 and one's an 8 by 3. So I can have like three hanging on the wall. Would that look nice? All right. I'm going to put another one of these in there. And then we're going to fill it in with some flowers and leaves and then get our antlers in there. Just want you to think outside the box. How's this going to go in here? You could do this all with cotton. Cotton is so farmhouse. Look at that, trying to pull the tag off and then pull the top off. <laughs> oh. Now where's the, there we go. Again, I'm just looking for some different texture. Want it to look really woodsy. And whatever you do, do not throw out the pieces you cut off. Okay, because I used those, this had rope in it, and I used that to pull that out. I mean, to put in there so I could stick it in the styrofoam. So I always save my little pieces. That's something Lori taught us.
Got that moss on top there, so good. I can't poke down through it. There we go. See, so I'll save this for use in another arrangement. And then I thought I'd stick some yellow in here. It's just a little pop of color. It's always good when you're picking out flowers to make sure you can slide them up. And I like to bend them so they're facing. Because again, this is going to be hanging on the wall. So you want it to come out at you. it to look rustic. That's why I'm adding these. And then I have some of these. I thought these would go nice in the front. Kind of really brighten it up and cover up some of the front of the flowers. Like I said, I can go ahead and I can add some rope around the front here. See how that pops against the, the brown and the silver? I'm going to have to really twist that over the side. so. I need something to grab it with because I am not burning myself on this one. You know what? We need something right in here. There. Hold it in place with this. And of course, there we go. I may have to go back and tack it down some. just it's a little uneven and I just want it to fill in the gap and if I wanted to I could also take my um, vinyl cutter 
and I could write a word and place it on there too. go. It's like a chance Saturday. A cake pan, 12 by 3, and then I have another one coming that's 10 by 3 and 8 by 3. So I'll make a, a rustic wall hanging. And again, if you want to, you really can't see the screws because they're on the bottom. Let's see, we could add ribbon. We could add a nice bow here. Um, I could have made this bigger and put a bow up top here. So many different ideas. And it's just a simple cake pan. Okay, that's your second chance Saturday. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Have a good day. Thank you.